I think if we could like have the whole world just like get seven hours of sleep and drink more water, it'd be amazing. Okay. We are officially recording. Yay. So we can record Christina's story. So at the beginning of our call every Monday for 15 minutes, we get to hear an awesome story from different people on our coaching team about how they got into coaching. And it's really cool to hear all the different stories, the different paths, the different backgrounds of the women on our team and the men and what brought us all together because it's really cool to have a supportive community of other people who are kind of healthier minded into the same things and it's great to make all these connections with people that we wouldn't necessarily meet in real life so tonight's story is coming from christina and she has a really really great you know inspiring story to share She's overcome a lot of stuff. Coaching has changed her life on multiple levels and really made a difference for her and gotten her through some, some hard times. And so I'm excited to hear from her. I'm going to hit mute all real quick just to make sure if I can do that. Oh, I don't think I can. Just make sure you mute yourself if you just hopped up. If we've got kiddos or family hanging out, we can hear Christina. Okay. So, Christina, if you want to unmute yourself and share a little bit more, we're all excited to hear from you. All right. I'm going to apologize ahead of time. My son keeps getting up and out of bed. So, if you see the door opening back there, that's him. <laughs> um, all right. So, I'm Christina. Um, I have a six year old. His name is HN. Um, I have a husband named Jeff. And I have a master's degree in counseling and I work currently as a full-time substance abuse therapist. Um, I have a very long story and um, I'm going to try to wrap that up so that we don't go over our 15 minutes or whatever, but um, I don't even know where to start. Okay. So uh, some things that I like to do just so that you know, some of my background is I like to crochet and I like to do other crafts. I'm really big into essential oils. Um, and I'm also an Emerald coach with Beachbody. Okay. So there has been a period of my life where I really needed to start taking better care of myself. Um, I went straight through college, straight through bachelor's and then master's. So that was six years straight. And then I, I had my son when I was in the middle of grad school. So I was very stressed and I wasn't eating properly and I wasn't working out or doing anything. And then I was also involved in a very unhealthy relationship. Um, so with that all, you know, intertwined, I had actually gained about 60 pounds during my pregnancy. Okay. And when my son was two years old, I had decided to end this relationship. Uh, because we were just kind of going in different ways and I was becoming more professional and more independent and you know just I was really starting to develop who I wanted to be uh, in my younger 20s throughout the rest of my life and that other person was very toxic to me and he's actually my son's father so this he's still in my life right now so a lot of the things that I'm getting ready to share has really helped me uh, cope with a lot of stress uh, that I've had to deal with in the last five, four or five years. So um, when I ended this relationship, um, it made things very worse. It made things a lot worse. And I had actually developed anxiety. Um, being a substance abuse therapist, I know that I did not want to take any kind of medication to <laughs> better to better manage my anxiety um, I wanted to do things the more natural way Here's my husband coming for support <laughs> um, and so that is kind of when I started getting into essential oils and I found I found some really uh, neat blends that helped better manage my anxiety um, and helped me stay kind of like in the present and in the here and now. Uh, and then we started kind of eating better and 
taking a look at the things that we were putting in our bodies and how that was probably contributing to a lot of my issues at the time. Um, and that just really opened up the door for me to do more, you know, and I know that I, I wanted to lose weight. I was really unhappy with myself. Um, kind of got settled after everything was said and done, you know, I had gone through my divorce and then like a two, two year child custody battle. That was just a, a nightmare. Um, and now it was time to focus on me. You know, I took care of my son. I got what I needed to do for him. Now it was time to take care of me. So I had actually been following who is my coach now, Ashley, for over a year now. And then we became friends on Facebook. And then one thing led to another. And um, she became my coach. So she um, really inspired me with her own journey in order to get me started. And I finally just said yes. You know, like I had dabbled with the workouts for what, probably six months, maybe closer to a year, but I wasn't really serious about it. I just kind of, I had him there as a reservation, like a just in case kind of thing. Um, and then when, like, what really kicked it in was me and Jeff were going to get, we were getting married in May. And so here it was January of this year and I needed to start looking for a wedding dress. Okay. And I wasn't happy with myself at all. So, and I remember that feeling when me and my best friend were going wedding dress shopping and I found the dress that I loved that I wanted to get, but I didn't feel beautiful in it at all. Like I didn't feel like I wanted to feel. And so I wanted to get that feeling. And that's kind of like when I, like that day, you know, I said, let's do it, let's go. And so I started working out uh, pretty frequently and I'm a really stubborn person. So it took me a while to get in the groove of things. But once I got going, I really couldn't stop. And then what, it was like a, a month or so in, Ashley messaged me and said, hey, you know, I think that you'd be really good at this coaching thing. Why don't you give it a try? And I'm like, okay. <laughs> um, I, in my, my instant, I had like immediately said yes. I didn't really even think about it, I don't think. But I knew that that would help me stay accountable for myself. Um, I'm the kind of person that gives up easily. You know, I, I don't, I didn't really have a lot of faith in myself at the time. But I knew that I had a short, a short term goal that I wanted to reach for, and that was getting myself to May and making myself feel good about myself whenever we got married. Um, so I did that, and I, I, I don't know how much weight I lost right off the top of my head right now, but I felt drop dead gorgeous, like in my wedding dress in May, and it was like the most magical day in my life. And I kind of get a little teary just thinking about it, but. And he's behind me. <laughs> um, but that feeling that I got after that, like, it's never gone away, ever. And, you know, here we are in December. And I finally stuck to my New Year's resolution goal for the first time ever, you know. And it wasn't to, it wasn't to lose weight. It was just to find myself again. And by doing that, I have reconnected with some of my, some of my older friends, um, that I went to college with, you know, like I have one of my college roommates, you know, we have kind of started getting closer again. Um, some of my past coworkers, you know, we are starting to get closer again because now they, they're allowing me to coach them and it's just very inspiring. And, um, I finally realized that this is what I want to do. You know, I, I have finally de developed a passion in something. And before I thought my passion was being a therapist. And in the last two months or so, I've realized that that's not my passion anymore. Um, it'll get me through right now. Um, but in a couple of years, I really hope to, to take this coaching thing and, and turn it into a real, a good business. And I want to be working from home so I can have a better quality of life and not have to um, work for other people that don't make me happy. You know, being a coach has allowed me to be happy with 
seeing my friends and that's what they are. They're my friends now seeing them change, seeing them grow, seeing them do things that I'd never, that they never thought that they could do because I, I live that life every day myself. Just the other day, you know, I did a workout and I'm like, I, after I just did this crazy move, I couldn't remember. I couldn't like believe that I actually did it, you know? So I'm growing too, along with everybody else. And I think that's what makes this different than anything else is that, you know, there's a, there's, we can always grow. We can always get better. Uh, I don't think we can ever stop getting better. And, you know, the extra income helps a lot too. Um, I was able to actually pay for uh, my son's school pictures uh, just by having that extra income one time. And I remember just being so excited because school pictures time was rolling around. He was in first grade and I wanted to get pictures and, you know, money was tight at the time. And then that rolled in and I'm like, I can get him now. Like, and I could get whatever package I wanted. I didn't have to pick the cheapest package, you know, and that, that really, that felt good. And so I want more experiences like that. <laughs> and, you know, just this year, um, I found that I've been happier with myself. Um, I actually love myself and I take much better care of myself than I did before. Um, mine and Jeff's relationship has, has gotten better in a lot of ways. I've learned a lot about myself. He's learned a lot about him. He jumped on the fitness train with us too. And he it has almost lost 70 pounds. Like it's crazy. Right. Are you there yet? No, he's not there yet, but he's almost there. And that makes me excited because I remember him saying, you know, he watched me for like four months or so just killing it, you know, just trying to figure it out. And he was my cheerleader. And then one day he just said, you know, I'm, I'm tired of being your cheerleader. I'm going to do this with you. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so that was really fun. And he, he, he hasn't stopped since. Uh, his thing is body beast, you know, and he loves working out to body beast and he's on his second round of it and it's doing amazing things, you know, and we can talk about this with our friends and, and show our passion uh, about it. And, and I think that's where the belief comes in. So if you're anything like me and you want a question about it, don't just, just jump in. It's so worth it. Thank you so much, Christina, and big props to Jeff for supporting you and even being in the room with you. That's awesome. Not just working out with you, but showing up for this call. Um, I love what you said about how coaching helps you stay accountable, because I think that's so true. So many of us, like, you know, we get that initial excitement, we're trying something new, it's working, you're losing on this weight, you're feeling amazing, and sometimes you just need that extra layer of accountability to stay on track and being able to help our family and our friends be healthier and walk alongside them also really helps us too you know and it's it's a great way to reconnect with all these people in your past that you may never have thought you would talk to again and now you get to do life with them in our groups and it's really cool to see them changing too and I love your goals of being able to live out that passion as your, your job every day and not have to, you know, get up and go to a career that you're no longer like fulfills you in your heart, you know, and I think that's, that's so important. Um, and it's definitely achievable. There's several of us here on our team who've been able to do that. And I could tell you like, it's, it's life changing to be able to say like that, you get up every day and you love what you do and you can put your whole heart into it and it really fulfills you and you get to be around all of these amazing people here as your job, you know, when really it's just a fun fit family to hang out with. But if we have friends here who are on the call or have, are later watching the recording that have not been in, you know, a, a challenge group, a health and fitness group through this program, it's a really amazing way to, you know, get those tools to succeed, you know, we are, we are Beachbody coaches. We partner with Beachbody to get the amazing nutrition plans, workout programs, you know, superfoods, all kinds of great tools that help us stay on track. And the real magic happens in the group where we get support from people and coaches like this. And you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be at your ideal weight or, you know, have a degree in nutrition. All you have to do is really care about helping other people and have that desire 
to serve others and connect with others. And you learn all the other things you need from the awesome trainings that our team puts together. And we, you know, walk hand in hand, do everything as a team and help each other along the way. So thank you so much, Christina, for sharing tonight because I think it helped remind us all of the amazing changes that we've seen through being part of this community and just makes us want to pay that forward to others even more. So if you are a friend joining us for Christina's story, thank you so much for taking the time to be here tonight. We appreciate you. We're going to roll on into our regular team call after this. So feel free to close out the video chat window and your coach who invited you will be checking in with you just to see your thoughts and to follow up too. So thanks for joining us tonight.